Hi everyone, I'm Patricia from the Philippines and this is COVID-19 Updates. Let's talk about the amelioration program. So, since the beginning of the lockdown, we have been hearing that the government would be giving aid or financial support to the Filipinos, especially to the poorest of the poor. And it was confirmed that for this amelioration program, the priority would be the Filipinos who are jobless. Now, this week, we've heard that the first batch of the funds have been rolled out. So what is this amelioration program? Depending on the region you're in, a household, a poor household, would receive between 5,000 pesos to 8,000 pesos. Now, some of those who received it this week have been interviewed and we are getting information that they are unhappy. They are ungrateful even because according to them, the 8,000 pesos they received from the government is not enough to last their family for a month. Now, why is this hurting us? Part of the amelioration funds is from the tax being paid by the working class. But the working class, the taxpayers, are not included in this amelioration scheme. What does that mean? It means that the taxpayers will not receive financial aid from the government. Now, these taxpayers, the working class, they are reacting. And they are saying that these recipients are not deserving of the funds. Why? Apparently, some of the poorest of the poor are not really jobless because they don't have an opportunity, but because they choose not to work. Now, the working class is airing their sentiments according to them they pay taxes, they work a lot, but during this pandemic, they are not receiving financial aid from the government and they are still supporting themselves. And they're asking if these recipients are not grateful for what they are getting, might as well demand from the government the same because according to the taxpayers, it is their own money. Now, if you browse through your social media accounts, you would see a lot of hate posts there, fake news as well. And it's not just the citizens who are actually bickering on each other, spreading hate posts, but even the political parties are against each other. Now, the question here is, why can't these parties just work together so we can provide solution to this pandemic? Now, we know that we're at war here, but not with another country or with another person or with our fellow Filipinos, but with a disease that's crippling our economy, not just in this country, but worldwide. We also know that corruption is rampant in the Philippines. We know that for a fact. So if we are receiving help, we should be thankful for it because not everybody is getting what they deserve. This is a pandemic. Everyone needs support. Everyone needs help, but not everyone is getting it. So the best thing we could do now is to be grateful and to also help ourselves. How can we do that? First, we should stop spreading hate posts and fake news. Unless the information is confirmed to be true, it is confirmed to be from a verified source. We can also stay at home, keep ourselves healthy, and if we have bright ideas, why don't we just share it? Why don't we post about it instead of posting hate comments? Also, if we can, if we're financially capable, why not donate? We know that we have 270 billion pesos allotted for this fund, and people are asking, why is it not enough? According to them, we deserve to know the breakdown of the expense. Well, if we are going to look at our population, there are millions of Filipinos. And if more than 80% of that is poorest of the poor, then probably we already know what's going on. 
if part of the 270 billion is being spent on PPEs and test kits and amelioration program, we should believe our president 270 billion could never be enough. Also, what we noticed here is that after the president gives his speech or after every address to the nation, a lot of people would criticize the president. We know that he's not a good speaker. He's 75 years old. People say that he always say things that are not important. But if you listen to him carefully, you would notice that he's speaking to us, not as his citizens, but as his family. He's sharing his thoughts with us. Now, if we'd really like to help our president instead of criticizing him, why not just help other people the best way we can? As of April 8, 2020, the number of positive COVID cases in the Philippines has reached more than 3,800. Remember when the experts said that by April or May, the Philippines could reach up to 10,000? We didn't. And hopefully we don't. So if we'd really like to help the government, let's, let's just cooperate. Let's spread positive news instead of hateful ones. Let's confirm information before we share them because not only we're creating panic, but we're also spreading hate. And we don't need that right now. Together, if we're united, we can heal as one.